Hi everyone, this is Dr. Anulekha and this is my YouTube channel, Dr. Anulekha Med Edu Zone. And in this channel, I'm going to make concise videos which are useful for our NEET PG 2021. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the neural control of respiration. As respiration is very, very, very important to us, right? So the first video I'm making about is regarding respiration, neural control of respiration physiology. Okay, so there are two important areas in the brain, important parts in the brain useful for respiration. They are the pons and the medulla. In the medulla, we have the pre bolsinger complex, which, which is the pacemaker and initiator of respiration. As well as, we have the dorsal respiratory group of neurons and the ventral respiratory group of neurons in the medulla. And in the pons, we have the upper pons and the lower pons. In the upper pons, we have the pneumotaxic center and in the lower pons, we have the apneustic center. So each of these, which I mentioned, are having their own function and their own role. By sleeping also, we breathe, right? We inhale and we exhale. So this is happening because of the pre in the complex. We unconsciously, involuntarily also, respiration is occurring because of the pre in the complex. Next. So, the, after the initiation of respiration, the dorsal respiratory group of neurons, remember the word D I V E, dive. D means dorsal respiratory group of neurons, I means inspiration, V means ventral respiratory group of neurons, E means expiration. So, dorsal respiratory group of neurons are useful for inspiration, and ventral respiratory group of neurons are useful for expiration. The dorsal respiratory group of neurons they help us to maintain a certain amount of tidal volume required and they also help in taking inspiration. Expiration is usually a passive phenomenon. We normally exhale passively. But when we do exhalation forcefully, forceful expiration, like we do in pranayama, then their mental respiratory group of neurons will be useful. Next, upper pons, we have pneumotaxic and lower pons, we have the apneustic center. So the apneustic center, it helps in prolonging the inspiration, apneusis, prolonging the inspiration. The pneumotaxic center, it inhibits the apneustic center. So we cannot continuously inhale, we cannot continuously make our lungs filled with air. There need, there has to be some particular point where we need to exhale. So that is taken care of by the pneumotaxic center. So the apneustic center also receives vagus nerve which uh, helps in uh, uh, stopping the inspiration like so the apneustic center is receiving impulses from both the vagus and the pneumotaxic center so that the inhalation is stopped at some point in exhalation occurs so as a whole um, initiation of respiration is occurring because of pre bolsinger complex dorsal respiratory group is helping in uh, inspiration ventral respiratory group is helping in uh, active uh, expiration and the apneustic center is helping in prolonging the inspiration and the pneumotaxic center is helping in inhibiting the inspiration. Okay, so what happens if lesions occurs here? Suppose a lesion occurs, a lesion is occurring in the medulla, uh, below the medulla. Then the very, very, very important pre bolsinger complex is present in the medulla. So the inspiration cannot occur, the initiation of inspiration cannot occur. So the patient cannot breathe and the patient has death. So that is one lesion. Suppose the lesion is occurring at the ponto medullary junction. Here, the inspiration initiation is occurring because of pre bolsinger complex, but regularity is not being maintained, so irregular respiration occurs. Suppose a lesion occurs in between the pons with the vagus cut. What happens here? The pre bolsinger complex is helping in initiating the respiration, the pneumoapnistic center is helping in prolonging the inspiration, but the mid pontine lesion it is the apneustic center is not receiving impulses from the pneumotaxic center as well as from the vagus hence the apneustic center cannot be inhibited and in this kind of lesion the inhalation the inspiration occurs prolonged so deep inspiration or prolonged inspiration occurs in this kind of lesion in the mid pontine lesion so these are the three different kinds of lesions so this is a small video a concise video regarding the neural control of respiration so, in, the, in my further videos, I will be making some other important topics of not only physiology but all, also of other subjects. And I hope you like this video. So, if you like my video, please do like, subscribe and comment. And you comment, uh, if my pace is fast, I will slow down. 
and I'm expecting us to come in so that we can prepare in a healthy manner together. And uh, what all topics you want, you can also comment, do comment in the comment section so that we can, I'll try to make, I'll try to learn more about those videos and make them more concise and uh, good to us. And so let us try to continue our flow and let us try to make our NEET PG exam successful. Thank you. Bye-bye.